Guys, this is the Caesar ET18 Pro. This box is quite large, but it has inside a very premium scanner for your books, your artwork, whatever it may be. This comes in at $525, and I know what you guys are thinking, that's relatively quite expensive, but hear me out. This can actually scan a 300 page book in around 10 minutes. In addition to that, this has so many features packed into it that warrants that price point, and I'm going to be covering that in this video, so make sure to stick around to find out why this is worth that value of money. So let's go ahead and start off with unboxing this, setting it up, and showcasing how you can scan this, not only to a dedicated app for your laptop, for both Mac and Windows, but also wirelessly to your phone as well. And let's just dive straight in. Okay, so in here, you have yourself your user manual, your installation guides, quick start guides, very nicely displayed. A few accessories here at the top. So you have yourself a USB capture button for taking the scans. You also have a foot pedal. So if you wanted to hold down the two page book with your thumbs, then you can you know, be hands free and use your foot to take the scan. In here, you have the power adapter. Let's go ahead and open this up. You have yourself the USB cable to connect this to your laptop. So I'll be doing that. This is something called a finger cot for book scanning. These are two yellow thumb tags that you can use to hold down both sides of a two page book. And this will actually remove this from the scan even if it appears inside. Here you have the black mat that you need to place your books on top of. I'll be using that. Just inside the bottom here, you have yourself these side lights. So you don't need to worry about any shadows appearing when you're trying to take your scan, because essentially with this, it will shine a bright LED light to remove all the shadows. And using the smart technology, it will give you the perfect scan shadow free. And then finally, this is the actual scanner itself. Now you have some buttons on the actual device itself. You got the brightness, the zoom, and the capture button. At the back, you have yourself a reset button, the USB port, the USB PC port that I'll connect to my laptop, the DC input, and the power switch. This is where you will connect the side light onto. And then this actually has a Sony CMOS sensor in its camera to capture your scans, which is very high quality, very premium. One of the other reasons why it's priced as it is. So that's everything in the box. Let me go ahead and now set this up. All right guys, so now everything is set up. One thing I really like about this scanner is there's a digital display at the top that gives you a live view of your books down below. So you can actually look at that and see if you are in the right position and you can see everything that you want to scan. And it's very quick and easy. It's a very convenient way just to quickly set up your book before you start the scanning process. Now there's various different sizes that you can use to scan your books from very small all the way up to A3. So it covers the majority of the use cases for everyone that's looking to scan. And not only that, the scanning process takes only one and a half seconds per page or per scan. So even if you have a double-sided page in a book, one and a half seconds for both and it's there on the app and you're ready to share it, export it or do whatever. That essentially, you know, if you accumulate 300 pages, that will give you about 10 minutes of scanning the entire book. That for me is just something that I've not seen in any scanner. If you had to use a manual scanner, like one of the old photocopy machines, that will take you forever. This eliminates all of that. And you know, I'm very excited to you know see how this performs and I'll showcase how the app works for you guys as well. doesn't matter if you have paper, hardback, even if you have a glossy book, this will remove reflections. So the quality of the scans that it gets, you know, alongside the variable adjustments of the brightness, as you can see, I've got the side light connected so you can use that as well, just to make sure there is absolutely zero reflections. That's something that is, you know, quite concerning to a lot of people that scan very often. You wanna get the perfect scans, the perfect quality, especially if you work in an office and this is something that needs to be shared with various different team members. And it, you know, high quality scans like that is an important thing. And one of the other very cool and unique features about this is that this has built-in OCR. 
So the OCR technology in this is developed by a company called Abbey. If you guys aren't familiar with Abbey, they're one of the world's leading optical character recognition companies. Essentially what they allow this to do is they can recognize more than 180 languages, which is absolutely brilliant, especially if you want to export this in various different languages, it will be perfectly capable to do that. And not only that, it can export into various different file formats, all of the common ones that you expect, Word, Excel, TIFF, RTF, text and PDFs, even images, JPEGs, whatever, various different things to cover all of the different scenarios. I'm going to go ahead now and showcase how to scan some sample pages and use the Caesar app on my MacBook. In addition to that, I'll also showcase how to scan without a laptop. You can scan this wirelessly on the ET18 Pro to your mobile phone app. So I'll also showcase that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys. So now I have the app connected. I've got a link in the description of where you can download the app for Mac. Essentially, when it loads, you would have to put in your serial number, which you'll find at the bottom base of the ET18 Pro scanner. Now, I've got a book here. The first thing I need to do is see the live view and set up the page that I want to scan. I will showcase using these finger cots as well, just to see how this is great in eliminating this when you want to hold down a very thick book. Essentially, there's two tabs to the app scanner and visual presenter i'll start off with the scanner the most common mode there's a button on the bottom right you hit scan all of a sudden you will see a live view of the book and the response time in this is great so let me go ahead and open any page there and you'll see on the app it shows you these orange square rectangle around the book as well to position it and get the perfect angle on the right hand side pane you can see the single page is selected but this is a double facing page so i will select that option here and then you will see it will split it down the middle line that up perfectly like so get the finger cuts if you need to and i've actually set up the foot pedal so i can scan it with my feet once i'm ready and i have it in the perfect position but you can see these yellow cuts are actually in the shot but you'll see what happens once i take the scan so now let me press the foot pedal. There you go, it's scanned. And now if you go back into the app, take a look, if you, you can go to back, there's the preview. And you can see, I can't see any of these finger cuts in the shot, which I think is great. And then you can see the second page. And the great thing about this is it does split each page into its own individual scan which you can merge or you can export separately. If you wanted to, you can actually change the color of this. If you didn't like how it came out, you tick the scan, you select the color mode, and then you can switch between all the different options. So you can go to black and white. You've got a little preview of it, grayscale. Stamps is a great one. If you have like a seal of approval type stamp made by ink on the page, then that will bring that out very cleanly patterns if you have a page that has a lot of background patterns on the page itself then that will shine through non-filter and then you can also have auto enhance to get the best possible scan so let me do auto enhance confirm that and there we go it looks pretty great you can also rotate change the quality overlap the edge cropping you can crop the image itself standardize the batch scaling and the background color processing for multiple different selected images if you have a lot of scans you can rename and print here are the various different options to export so word excel etc now there's some diagrams on this page so i wanted to showcase what would happen if i export this to word and see how great the optical character recognition is but also what it does to the images on the page so let's go ahead and export this to word And that is brilliant. The way it's aligned everything, I've not seen any scanning app that will do a match for match liking, even with the bullet points on the page, so accurately compared to this one. I'm extremely impressed with the quality on this. And of course, the bottom part with the flowchart, it has recognized that as an image, so it's set that out separately. And it's even got the little credit underneath as well, which I think is brilliant. And then, you know, everything word for word I just think, you know, I can't fault this type of optical character recognition. But not only that, what you can see 
is that the finger cuts are completely removed as if they were never there. You know, the processing in the software to identify these marks on the finger cuts and to remove them into the scan is just one other reason why this is a very brilliant scanner. Now, I've seen some people asking online as well, is it just great for text-based books or can you also scan high quality images? The answer simply is yes, you can. Let me swap out this book with one that has very high quality images. So I have this travel book, for example. Let's see what we can get out. Let's go back to the scan mode. There we go, Thailand. So let's split this up. Let's straighten it a little bit. And then on the right hand side, you know, you make sure you have color selected so it matches what you are scanning. And the great thing about this is you generally don't need to use these finger cuts because underneath the scanner here, you'll see there's three laser lights. What that essentially does is that shines laser beams onto the book and it uses its own patented curve flattening technology, which automatically detects whatever curvature your book has, it will flatten it when it comes out on the scan. So you don't need to worry about any curved text or any distortion in your final scanned copies. Let's go ahead and press the pedal on this. There we go, it's scanning, you can see it's appearing there. And that's it, let's go back, take a look at these images. You know, I'm quite impressed with this, it's very high quality. And if this is something you want to do for scanning high quality images, then this will be great for, you know, artwork, or if you want to add some artwork to your music albums, you know, anything you'd like, or even if you wanted to print something out, you can do that using this scanner. I'm going to go back and see how this performs with a different image, but with the side light on. Turn the side light on. There we go. Scanning. Scan complete. And that just looks brilliant. And now I would be ready to share this, to export this, to print this however I like. So multiple different scenarios for this. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the scanning capabilities. You know, the app was very easy to connect the way it works, it just works right out of the box. I had no problem setting it up. The next thing is this tab called Visual Presenter. If you wanted to connect your laptop to a monitor, maybe you're a school teacher, you can actually use this to you know, present to people in an office environment, into a classroom, whatever it may be. If I hit the display button on the bottom right, this essentially now allows me to present this to an audience. So I can just keep this as a live view and just start talking about various different things, you know, like this. So it has some options for annotations as well, right in the app. So if I wanted to, you know, maybe choose this, choose the line, and I can, you know, draw circles around any text that I wanted to highlight, then I can do that. You can undo by pressing the back. Various different options. You can use the square, like so highlight various different things. And this is great for, you know, if you have a book that you wanted to showcase to an audience, it's not very easy to do that if you don't have scanned copies of it on your laptop or you have a very large room where people might not be able to see what you're trying to present from the book. So you can showcase this very easily and then dive into a little bit of the text and it just makes it so much easier. Additionally, you can zoom in if you'd like to directly from the app as well. And you can also export and save this as a screenshot or you can record a live video of your display so whatever you're presenting you can record a clip of it and then play it back and then share that to your audience so a lot of functionality built into this app now the final thing i wanted to show is the ability to use this as a wireless scanner without a laptop and scanning everything directly to your phone all right to connect to the caesar mobile app you download the Caesar Cloud app and register an account. And then to connect it to the scanner, you need to disconnect the USB cables and the connection cables to your laptop completely. And then follow the process on the app to connect it to Wi-Fi. And you have a Wi-Fi signal at the top of the display on the scanner as well. 
Once you're connected and you've gone through the process, which was very straightforward, it will search and find your ET scanner. You open it up and then now you're ready to scan your books. It's as simple as that. So I've got a page open here and then I've disconnected obviously the USB port as well. So I'm going to use the button on the scanner to get the scan directly onto the app. And it's very straightforward. It will split it into two uh, as always with the app. And then to see a live view, just use the screen at the top of the scanner and then you'll be ready to view and share all your files directly from here. You get a confirmation red light at the top of the scanner itself. It's now scanned. And then if you just refresh by swiping down, it will appear directly into the app. There we go, file one has appeared. Click on that. And there's your scan. You can edit it, you can change the color modes, you can convert the text, you can save it to your album, and you can also connect it together with the facing pages. So let's just see the different color mode options. If I go to grayscale, for a page that's just text heavy, I think that looks great. So I can save that. If I go back, it will save it as a separate copy. I can do the same to the initial page. There we go, quick and easy. So it's a very fast and convenient way to get anything that you'd like to scan directly onto your phone. You don't need to worry about going through the route of your laptop to actually transfer it back to your phone. The connectivity options of allowing you to do everything wirelessly is such a huge benefit and it's no wonder that this is priced as it is because I think that is very good value for money with all of the different capabilities that this can do. So hopefully that gives you an idea you know, of simple scanning directly to your app, but I would always recommend if you want to get the best and most feature packed scans, always connect this to your laptop, whether that's Windows or Mac, and then use the capabilities of the scanner that it's intended for. And that's about it guys. Honestly, this is probably one of the most productive products I've reviewed in a very long time, especially when you come to using this in an office environment or for your work, or if you're someone that does scan quite often, this is a must have from my point of view. I can't see myself you know, using any other traditional scanning application or even using my phone scanner, which is very basic and it only does the minimal amount of scanning compared to what this can do, especially if you have a lot of things to scan and books and artwork and various different features. And for those people that you know do live very busy lives and they wanna get something quickly scanned directly to their phone of high quality, and of multiple pages in a book, you know, the capabilities on the ET18 Pro, I would say you can't beat that. There's, I'm yet to come across any other product that can compete with this really. It's very heavy duty, the quality is great. It's got tons of features packed into this and they've thought about everything, the design, the quality, the apps, the software, you know, the things that it can do. I'm super happy with this. Take a look at the description below. For the latest pricing information, by the time I published this video, this is $525. They also have various different models, so do check out their website if you're interested in any of their other scanners. If you have questions about this and any other capabilities that you'd like to know about what this can do, drop a comment down below. And if you like this review, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I review things like this all the time, very cool tech, very cool gadgets, and I have a new video out every week, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.